every single character I've ever made uses sewing. In this video, I'll show you all of the things that I have painstakingly learned by myself. It involved a lot of frustration and dedication to figure out the settings how I prefer them. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys everything. Okay, to get started, you have to choose the clothing that you'd like to create. So for this character, if you don't know, I'm basing this character off of Starfire. Uh, so she has underneath, you can see she's got kind of this crop top looking thing. So let's first off start off in a T pose. So bring your character to a T pose. Now once your character is in a T pose, we are going to do Shift A and mesh, then plane. And then we need to rotate this plane so it is parallel with our character's arms. So I'm going to do RX. 90 and now my plane will be rotated perfectly with my character so I'm going to raise it up by doing GZ and just dragging it up and so we have this collision here we don't want that when doing sewing so let's bring that out so GY and as you can see mine is slightly off center I'm just going to center it manually however uh, most of the time I'm guessing you guys' characters are in the middle so this most likely won't be a problem for you guys. Okay, so once you have it all centered, it's in, and by the way, to get to this view mode, I simply clicked one on my keyboard and that brings you to this view mode and that is very important when doing sewing. So now that we're in this view mode and we have our plane roughly centered, uh, we're gonna scale it up a bit just so it's barely out of the lines of our character and so yeah toggle on x-ray mode and make sure that it is roughly in the position you want it now I will say I'm making a tighter shirt for Starfire here however if you are making looser clothing with sewing this same method will still work simply just make your plane bigger and make sure there's more room for your character and this will just make it looser Okay, so once you've done that, now all we need to do is make our clothes. In order to do that, I'm first going to get the rough shape I want. So I'm going to select that plane, tab into edit mode, and I'm just going to simply drag these around, these vertices around until it looks roughly in the pattern I want. So I'm going to drag these up by doing GZ with the vertices selected. I'm going to toggle back on X-ray mode and I'm going to do SX to bring these closer together. And now I'm going to add a loop cut into this plane by doing control R and then I'm just going to add it by clicking the by left clicking. And now we have another vertice group to kind of line up with our body. So I'm going to do SX and just line this up for this version of Starfire I made. Uh, you'll see I have like a little cutout here in the collarbone, so I'm gonna make sure that this plane uh, Won't show up there when it's underneath that uh, metal plate, so I'm gonna hit back on one and Toggle in x-ray mode and now I'm gonna add two loop cuts So I'm gonna do control R and then just scroll your mouse wheel and you'll have two and now I'm going to kind of line these up. So one thing to make sure you do at this point is think like clothes. So she's going to need something that actually holds this on her body. So I'm going to make it almost like a tank top sort of thing. So I've got to add straps. So to add straps, I take these inner vertices up here, do SX, drag them. And now I'm pretending that these are the straps for my top. So once you have your pretend straps here, I'm going to select a face that I know I need to get rid of and I'm just going to delete it. So obviously at this point, if we, we just did it, it would look very bizarre because she wouldn't have this shirt going underneath. So now I need to further mess with my mesh to get it so it's lined up more with how I want the look. So I'm going to do GZ on these vertices, bring them up, uh, SX, 
and something like this because I want to make sure that these vertices are hidden. Now, as you can see, I've got some semi-weird geometry going on on this top. Uh, the main goal at this point is to try and have your shapes roughly as square as possible. So you'll see me adding a bunch of loop cuts by doing Control R, and I'm doing this to make as many square-ish shapes as I can. The more squarish your geometry is, the better your cloth sim is going to act. So, I've got something going pretty good right here. However, for a cloth sim of this nature, we need far more geometry. So we're going to do A to select everything, right click, and then subdivide. And to me, this is still not enough. So I'm going to actually right click again and subdivide again. Now. It's possible we won't have this issue with this mesh, so I'm going to try it out. But if you do have some strange collisions occurring, I'll show you what to do here in a little bit. So we've got our kind of makeshift top here. And as I said, this looks like it's pretty much ready to extrude. What's important here is that you have this slightly outside your character's boundaries. So when the sewing occurs, it does not sew into your character. It really mess it up. <laughs> so once we have that, we're going to toggle off X-ray, hit tab for edit mode, and then make sure everything is selected by hitting A, and then hit E to extrude it all out. And you want your extrusions and your mesh your plane to be as close to your character as possible. So you'll see if I just move it just a bit, it starts colliding with her mesh. So you want it as close as possible. Okay, so now what we need to do is hit tab, and we're going to edit this by selecting these faces, any faces where your arms and neck are, and then of course where your torso connects with the rest of your body. So we're going to select these faces, I'm going to select this face, hold control, and then select all of the faces that I want to delete. And then I'm going to hold shift, and the same thing, hold control, and then it will select all of those faces around the neck. Hold shift, hold control, and then so on and so forth. And now I've selected all the faces where I actually want her body to be exiting the clothing basically. And then I'm going to hit delete and then faces. So now this isn't quite there yet, obviously. So what we need to do next is I'm going to hit three. That'll take you to this view mode on the side of your character. Then I'm going to toggle on x-ray mode. Make sure that face select mode is enabled in your upper left hand corner. Select all the faces, hit delete, and then hit only faces. Now toggle off x-ray mode and you should see if everything went right that you have these lines, your edges still in place. And those are what we're going to use for sewing. So now we're ready to sew. So I'm going to hit tab, select your article of clothing you're trying to make, go to physics properties and hit cloth. Now I have a preset for cloth that I like to use. If you're more curious about how I animate with clothing and blender, click on this video and that will show you all my settings as well. But right now I'm just going to focus on sewing. So I've got this. Let's head to the frame zero so it doesn't fall through. And something important for sewing that I find is first off, instead of your end frame being 250, uh, Let's down that because I find that for animation, I don't need it to be the whole animation anyway. So my T pose ends at frame 20. So I'm going to have the end of the animation be frame 20. And also, for my character in particular, I'm going to real fast increase the gravity to 5. Now, there are a lot of collisions that occur when doing sewing, so make sure your collisions is set higher. I usually set it to about 12. Object collision distance, turn all the way down. Turn on self collisions and turn on that distance all the way down as well. And now you'll see in your shape of your cloth sim that you have a sewing option. Just simply check that box. 
and now sewing should work so again make sure your M frame is something more reasonable than 250 and let's bake it in so something I did forget to mention that I just real quick want to insert and I realized while I was editing the video that I forgot to say this is also make sure that your character is selected and that you have a collision on this character so to do that you should already have an armature if you're doing cloth sims and posing and stuff like that so head over to your modifiers make sure your armature is on top on the highest point and then make sure collision is at any point under that for your character if collision is before the armature it will collide with the original T pose or whatever position the character is in without your armature and to add a collision just head down here to physics properties and then simply toggle on collision now collision settings everyone's going to tell you different things uh, honestly I have found that almost the lowest settings in all categories are just work, what works best for me however there's lots of options for you I typically do thickness outer and I just take it down to 0.001 uh, inner thickness I take down to 0.001 and then friction I think comes at 5 and I just keep it at 5 and I don't even touch damping anyway I just wanted to throw that in and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tutorial so my animation is baked and you'll, you're going to see one of the issues that occurs often if your character has uh, a lot of curves on it. And particularly I will say this only occurs if you have tight clothing. If you don't have tight clothing, I don't think this is going to be an issue for you. But if you're trying to create tighter clothing for your character, here's how you fix it. So you'll see that as I play this animation, we have some overlap here and some collisions. And then as I continue, this simply gets worse. It's because it's pulling. So one thing we can do to try and fix this is to adjust our strength for our sewing. So what we're gonna do is make sure your object is selected, head back into the physics properties. We're gonna delete this bake. And now at this point, we're gonna scroll over to where our sewing is, if I can find it. <laughs> And now we're just going to look at this here. So you'll see the shrink factor, factor by which to shrink clothes is set to zero. And we've also got our max sewing. So typically if you turn up your max sewing, you're just going to have it rip through your character. So we're not going to really mess with that. But the shrink factor is a pretty big deal. So what we're going to do is just very minorly turn that down. Because if you turn it down too much, your whole sewing animation won't really work effectively. And now I'm going to try baking it again. Okay, and let's play that animation. And there you have it. It worked a lot better that time, as you can see. So it looks like I could possibly turn that down more. However, for what we have next, this is fine. So now at this point, whether your animation worked the first time or not, I am going to choose a frame. I think the clothes look okay at this frame. I might have to do some corrections. And now I'm going to head to my modifiers. I've got my cloth modifier and I'm going to apply. So just so you know, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. But once you apply, your object becomes a mesh. My object has become a mesh. So at this point, I know when I bake it, my character's mesh will actually correct itself in these areas that are more minor deformations. What I like to fix now is making so it doesn't look like there's any seams in the clothing such as right here. Now if you like the seams you could simply bake it again and it'll have a more defined edge and have a seam in your clothing. I don't really want seams though. So what I'm going to do is select your object, hit tab, and now I'm going to make sure my whole object is selected. I'm going to hit F3. And then I'm going to say fill. Fill holes. And if I select fill holes, you'll see it'll fix those holes that were in my outfit. And it'll fill all of those empty faces. But however, my mesh is just a little wonky in those spots now. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to hit alt. or I'm going to hold alt while left clicking. And then I'm going to double tap G and just gently move these away. 
so it's more uniform. I'm going to do the same with this side. And I think that that looks much better. It's hard to even tell that they, there was anything there. Okay, so now we've still got a couple issues though. So what we're going to do is select that and we are just going to simply bake another cloth animation. Again, I have my settings preset. If you'd like to know those settings, check out this video. I'm going to do the same thing and set this animation to go to frame 20 to see how we do. And at this time, I have nothing to sew, so I'm not going to enable sewing. I'm going to do the same thing with the quality, however, and all my collision settings will be the same as well. And now I'm going to bake my animation. And now if we play our animation, my guess is it'll fix some of these deformations that are occurring. And there you go, it more or less fixed all of those. And there's some minor clipping still occurring. However, for the most part, that's what we want. You should have a pretty nice looking cloth. And there you go, you've created clothes in Blender. Uh, there's a couple more tweaks I'm gonna make to this top here that are unrelated to sewing. So yeah guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And again, if you'd like to know anything about clothes, I've got two other great clothing videos. So you can check those out as well. Now if you actually made it this far, the biggest thing you can do to help me is just click that subscribe button. And leave a comment and a like. It shows the algorithm you liked what you saw. Please consider doing any of those things and that will have helped a ton. Thank you guys so much.